Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be checking out Ideal Toys the Chipmunks. And since it's the Chipmunks, I'm obligated to do this. Ideal Toys the Chipmunks started with... Oh, it's just regular air. The Chipmunks story starts with their creator, Ross Bagdasarian. You probably know him better by his stage name, David Seville. Yes, that David Seville. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is David Seville. He gave himself the surname of Seville because he had been stationed in the city of Seville, Spain. David, tell him about the witch doctor. I told the witch doctor I was in love with you. In April 1958, Dave recorded the song Witch Doctor, which was released by Liberty Records. This song came to be after Dave experimented with the speed on his tape recorder. The song features Dave singing a duet with his sped up self. The sped up version of himself sounds like Alvin. After the popularity of the song, he created his trio and named them after executives from Liberty. Their debut song is the Chipmunk song, Christmas Don't Be Late. This was released in November 1958, seven months after Witch Doctor. This is one of my all-time favorite Christmas songs, along with Little Saint Nick by the Beach Boys and Christmas Time by Paul McCartney. In 1961, Bagdasarian introduced to the animated world The Alvin Show, which only lasted one year. We wanted to see another Chipmunks cartoon for 21 years. Bagdasarian passed away from a heart attack in 1972. Then, in 1983, Bagdasarian Productions released Alvin and the Chipmunks, a newer take on the boys and also introduced the Chipettes. The toy company Ideal got the license to make the Chipmunks toys. There were many different items made, including static figures called Play Pals, stuffed animals, wind-ups, and paintable plaster figurines. Today's subject is the one that got me into the entire toy line. The Posable Play Pals. Alvin and the Chipmunks will return after these messages. Ideal's new Chipmunks Curtain Call Theater. Some assembly required. Run about Simon and Alvin up for action, sold separately. The Chipmunks at sea. Simon through pirate. Look out, Simon. Uh-oh, a shark. Alvin to the rescue. Cowboys don't go on pirate ships. <laughs> the Chipmunks Curtain Call Theater comes with lots of props and backdrops. Chipmunk figures sold separately, new from Ideal. We now return to Alvin, that's me, and the Chipmunks. The Posable Play Pals line includes 11 figures, two vehicles, and a playset. The figures include Uncle Harry, Alvin, Simon, Theodore, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore in their concert attire, Eleanor, Brittany, and my favorite, Irma, I, I mean Jeanette. The Mail Away Super Rare Super Alvin. On top of the figures, there were two vehicles, the Chipmunks Treatmobile and the Chipettes Picnic Wagon. The big piece to this toy line is the curtain call stage. Let's start with the figures. 
All the figures have five points of articulation. Head, arms, and legs. They all come with cloth clothing. Alvin, Simon, and Theodore have their long shirts. Uncle Harry has his shirt and pants as one piece. The concert version of the boys have long tuxedo shirts, with the exception of Alvin, who wears a tuxedo shirt and red shiny pants. The girls wear one piece dresses. Brittany also comes with leg warmers. And Super Alvin has his one piece super suit and separate cape. A few notes on these figures. Brittany's leg warmers and ponytail is usually missing from the figure. So, if you're on the lookout for her, just make sure they're included. The chipettes come in two different ways. The basic pink noses and the error black noses. Both are equally attainable. The figure's clothes are buttoned up in two different ways. One is Velcro and the other is metal snaps. Again, both are equally attainable. Finally, we come to Super Alvin. He's a male away figure and a very rare one. I found one for sale on eBay in 2018 and lost him to The Simon Show on Instagram. Two years later, I finally found him. To get Super Alvin, you had to clip and send three proofs of purchase to El Paso, Texas. And eight to ten weeks later, you would have Super Alvin. Alvin and the Chipmunks will return after these messages. Get a different chipmunk glass each week at parties for 69 cents extra when you buy any beverage. Collect all four at parties. We now return to Alvin and the Chipmunks. Next up are the two vehicles, the Treatmobile and the Picnic Buggy. The Treatmobile is the boy's vehicle. It comes with a bunch of accessories. Two figures can fit in the front and in the back, and the car also has a rumble seat that fits too. The back and rumble seat can be used when the storage container is removed. When we check out the back of the package, we can see the prototype of the Treatmobile and accessories. The ice cream was white and the cake was brown. In the released version, we got everything orange. The chipmunks can't hold any of the accessories, but they can wear the vinyl aprons and chef hats. The cover for the plate doesn't fit over the cake. The picnic buggy is the Chipette's vehicle, and it's very rare. This is the only example I found, and it came from Australia. Just like the treat mobile, the picnic buggy has tons of accessories. The picnic buggy can hold two figures in the front and two in the back. The trunk of the buggy is in the front like a VW bug. When we look at the back of the box, we can see that the visors were supposed to be pink, but they're white in the final release. Speaking of the visors, they're pretty lousy on the figures, so I wouldn't bother with them. The playset for this part of the line is the Curtain Call playset. It includes both plastic props and cardboard scenery. The playset is a working stage minus the lights. It has doors in the front, a side door for actors, 
a trap door in the center of the stage. There's bars on the ceiling of the theater that have handles. These bars can hold scenery props and, of course, the curtain. There's a drawer in the back to hold all the accessories. The different props for the playset include space, a western, pirates, and of course, the rock show. What I think is pretty cool is that it also comes with scripts for plays. This is a one-of-a-kind playset. I've never seen anything else like it. The toy lines that are close to the chipmunk's disposable play pals are Calico Critters and Lil Woodsies. Except that the playsets don't have any kind of gimmick. There is another vehicle in the Chipmunks line. I thought that it was part of the Posable Play Pal set, but it's actually part of the wind-up set, so we'll look at it then. The Chipmunks continue to be enjoyed by children with the films that are totally not for me, and the last show as of this video, Alvin and the Chipmunks. This version of the show uses the same intro music as the 1983 version of the show. This show is very well done and has the spirit of the 80s version with a modern twist to remain relevant. It's so great that this franchise is still entertaining us and teaching us about music more than 60 years after its creation.